Video 15.1 Durand's Examples of Harmony On the subject of combined alterations and suspensions, Durand presents a large number of examples. He studied the subject from all angles. We'll hear this first example where an alteration of C to C sharp on the way to D arrives at D at the same time that the soprano's suspension of G arrives at F. Then we'll hear an example where the two are out of sync with each other. Then we'll hear, we'll hear a larger example, fully realized, beginning in C major, modulating to A minor, etc., etc. And then we'll see Durand's chant donné, in other words, a given melody without harmonization that the student is expected to realize. And, not coincidentally, it begins in C major, modulates to A minor, and has a lot of the factors involved that had been already uh, just presented. So, being able to realize the Chant de Ney uh, requires the prior study of the examples. This is not simple to harmonize. Uh, the first line of this chant donné uh, presents the subject in C major, and then the second half presents it in A minor. That's fairly clear. On the second line, the number of B flats probably indicates F major. A return to D minor later on. Uh, and then probably on the third line, we're probably in D minor where we have a C sharp, followed by C major. So in a sense, the third line begins a fonte. It's about in the middle, and that's where you would put a fonte. We continue uh, as we get into the one, two, three, fourth line. About in the middle, there's C sharps, which indicate uh, D minor, followed by D sharps, which indicate E minor, so in other words, a, a monte here, a rising sequence. And then at the end, we begin much as we began at the beginning. Fortunately for us today, we can confirm some of these suppositions, because uh, decades after Durand uh, published this work, his own realizations were published in 1948. And here we have this particular Chantonnet fully realized in four voices. <laughs> 